boy Seth the line surgeon. Uh, today I'll be changing the oil on my uh, Troy Bill Mustang XP42 with the cooler 22 horsepower engine. This is my first time changing a zero turn uh, oil and filter. Um, I changed my Murray many times, but this is my first time doing this, so let's get to it. Before you start doing anything, for safety reasons, take your spark plug off. There's two of them, there's one on this side and one on the other side. All right, first thing I'm gonna do is take off this oil filter. Got my new filter right there, got the oil. Um, put a rag up on here just in case we got any spillage. Ooh. That was on there quite good. Yep, so the first thing I did, well, it's not the first thing I did. I tried to take the oil filter off first, but apparently, uh, Whoever put it together, they use the wrench to tighten it, which you're only supposed to hand tighten the oil filter so it doesn't get stuck like mine's was stuck. So I had to borrow a hand wrench from my friend, I mean, to, yeah, wrench to get it off. Then I came back here to get this, this plug out. As you can see, all you do is, yeah, here's the plug right here. But somebody had super hand tightness too so I had to sit here and struggle to get this off but now that we got this off letting this oil drain and then I'm gonna take off the um the filter and go from there all right so the oil is almost drained so go ahead as you can see I put a uh, towel up under the oil filter and twist this bad boy off just in case anything spills. Probably get off. Come on, stop the filter. There we go. Right there. All right. Um, as you can see, the filters are two different sizes, but it's always good to check the parts number. As you can see, this one, this is the new one. This is 12050001. This one is 12050001. So even though they're two different sizes, it's still the same filter. So if you see, if you get in a situation like this, both of them are cooler, coolers. So that's a good way to check to make sure you get the right filter. All right, so now what we have to do is we have to, um, Fill this up with oil. I'm not gonna fill it all the way up, probably um, three fourths of the way. And then you take some of that oil and you rub around this gasket right here, the seal. The gasket is this rubber piece around it outside. So I'm gonna do that. All right, I got my new oil filter on. Of course, you know, before you start adding any oil, make sure you put your plug back in. And now we'll start adding oil. All right, next you want to fill it up with oil. One thing that I thought was stupid is, why would they make the dipstick yellow? I don't know if all motors do this, but how are you gonna read oil, like yellowish, brownish oil on a yellow dipstick? Like that makes absolutely no sense. This other motor I got over here, it's an old model, about 10 years old, has a white dipstick. That's a lot better than having these metal dipsticks and these freaking yellow dipsticks but that's just me i don't know anyway but the good thing about this uh the good thing about this engine is if you see the uh, oil spout is tilted so that means when you're trying to get a good reading if you put the stick towards the top here and run it down the top when you pull it out, this bottom side usually gives you a real good reading. And I like to be very conscious of my um, oil amounts because if you put too little oil and too or too much oil, um, if you put too much oil, it could cause your motor to blow out. So I, that's why I'm very conscious about that. And I also, I don't fill it all the way up to the F. I fill it up just below the F because you gotta think about the oil just that's around the spout 
that's gonna settle into your into the um the oil container or wherever it's at. And so that's why I fill it up right a little bit below the F. So got my oil in. Um of course I've used I don't know what your motor uses, but most people motor use 10W30, four cycle. Um, so yep, that's it.